Yeah, Annie, uh, the only notification you should have gotten was for the one we're having right now. I have not gotten any other uh, live schedule that you would have gotten a notification on. But I'm glad to be back. <laughs> <coughs> I had some good news and then it kind of burst my bubble. I started listening to the weather and they said chance of rain and this, that, and the other for Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. And then I got to looking at the forecast for our area. And uh, we basically have no chance here for rain. The temperatures will get below triple digits. Like it'll be 98, 99. And that's a lot better than 106 or 109. I'll take it any day. But it will cool off for two or three days, and then it's going to be right back up to 102, 103, with really no chance of rain in our area. It's, there's going to have rain all around us, but not here. So that kind of built me up and knocked me down all at the same time. <laughs> but it'll rain soon enough, I guess. Like I said, usually when it does rain, it's going to flood, which I hate. Said you, you, this is Annie Watson. Said you got a notification about August. What day will it be? It's today. I mean, this is the only notification you should have gotten, as far as I know. <laughs> Annette Berry, hello. How are you? What part of the country are you from, Annette? I know we have berries that live around this area, but I don't know if you might be one of them <laughs> or related. Hi, I'm Maria from South Carolina. And there's uh, Gladys. Hello, Gladys. Oh, Northeast Louisiana. Okay. Yeah, I seem like I remember you saying you're from Louisiana before. I just forgot. <laughs> and I'm hoping that, um, let's see, what was her name? I think it was Miriam Mullet. had sent me um, an email saying she was going to send me a package. So I did get that package yesterday, and that's what I'm going to open today. I was hoping that she would be in uh, this afternoon. Oh, there she is, Miriam. Hi, everybody. I, was just, I just mentioned your name about the package. So uh, I'm glad you showed up. And there's Wilkes County boy. Hello. Patricia, hello. Sharon, hello. Hope everyone's doing fine this Sunday afternoon. And there's Trisha Whistler. Hello, Trisha. How are you? It's turned out to be a real good Sunday afternoon, even though we're not going to get rain. <laughs> yeah, I'm very well so far anyway. And I've decided tonight I'm going to start cleaning out this bedroom to where I can start working on the, the floor this week. Hopefully. <laughs> get that little project going and get it taken care of. <laughs> Miriam says, good, Wilkes County boys back. I'm great, Tricia. It's been over two months, and I heard on the news after our morning chat that we have already been through 58 days, or 59 days. Today is the 59th day of triple-digit temperatures in our area. 
That's record breaking. The most we've had before was, I think, 18 days of triple digits nonstop. And here we are at 60 now. That's why everything is dying outside with no rain and triple digit weather. It's hard for anything to survive outside. It really is. And I mean, it's not just 102, 103. It's been like 106, 7, 8, and 109 degrees every single day. It's not been below 100 at all. Yeah, that's awful. That's the reason I was getting so depressed <laughs> about my poor garden. I was losing all my plants. Even the plants that were just coming in were dying. You know, stuff I replanted. So, it's got to break pretty soon. It can't keep on this way. It's hot, Vicky. Very, very hot. <laughs> You don't want to do much outside at all for very long. And there's Miss Weaver. Hello, we Miss Weaver. Well, I should say Cynthia, since I know it's Cynthia Weaver now. And hi, Josh. I don't know if we'll get Peter back in or not. He was in earlier. But it's his, it, I guess it's his nighttime now already because he said this morning when we were on the live that it was already afternoon where he's at in the UK. Yeah, you can't stay long out in this heat. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and try to start on my bedroom this week. Try to get the everything cleared out of it. So I have the floor open to start working on the floor. And i got to get up the old carpet that's in there. But it's something that I put down. It's just basically laid down. It's not glued or anything. So hopefully that's not going to be too big a problem to get up. No, my allergies are the same. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they're the same. And I could have got the doctor to give me a shot. He would have given me one if I'd asked him for it, but I decided I've suffered this long. I'm going to keep on. Hopefully, it'll rain pretty soon, clean the air out, and my allergies will be gone. For a little bit, anyway. <laughs> no, I didn't take a nap. I thought about it, but I, I didn't. I got busy doing something else. Well, Sharon, just because you don't know how you got in the chat doesn't mean you got to leave. <laughs> Evidently, you're one of my subscribers or you wouldn't be in the chat. So stick around. We're, we're glad to have you in the chat. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. I've got my phone plugged in right now. <laughs> The one I'm, you know, watching the chat on is 100% charged, but my camera here is plugged in as, we, as we're going live. It's plugged in. I just ate some potato salad and um, chicken and rice and some of those deviled eggs I had. I mean, I had all that stuff already cooked, so why not eat some of that rather than have to cook again? I know, it, it's hard on cats and animals outside. Little Buddy definitely doesn't want to stay out. He gets inside every chance he gets when it's hot like this. If he's not in here, he's at home, you know, right across the way in inside. He's not out. Because it's supposed to hit a hundred and, I don't know, 106, 7, 8, 9 today. I don't know. I lose track. I know it's still triple digit. <laughs> yeah, I don't imagine they do Wilkes County, boy. And if they were in Texas, they definitely wouldn't stay outside. 
They'd go outside to go potty, and then they'd be back at the door wanting back in. Because when it gets over 100 degrees in Texas, you don't want to be outside. Where's your good, Mr. Good Bar, Gladys? <laughs> I didn't get one either. I want a Mr. Good Bar. I guess the next thing I can do to that is eat some Rocky Road ice cream that I got in the freezer. Yeah. None of these animals would stay out long if they have their choice about it. I feel bad for the cows and horses and all of those poor critters that, that are stuck outside all the time. I mean, they might get under a lean-to in the shade, but still it's going to be awfully hot. In the upper 90s here. Well, it hasn't been below 100, like I said, in 60 days. <coughs> it's record-breaking. We've never went this long in triple digits before, nonstop. Like I said earlier, the longest time we've had was 18 days straight in triple digits. Today hit 60 days of triple digits. Yeah, we're, we're too far away from the hurricane to get any rain from it. And that front that's coming in from the, the northwest of us, that's supposed to hit tonight and tomorrow, we're not going to get any rain from that either. It'll drop our temperatures be just below 100 for a couple of days and then it'll be back up to 102, 103. Well, I live in Texas now. I'm originally from North Carolina. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, it don't matter how much you weigh, nobody can afford to be out in that heat for very long. Even when I'm doing the floor and I have to cut stuff out in the yard, I'm only out there long enough to cut that piece of board and I'm back in the house where it's cool, or halfway cool. <coughs> well, there's John Ray Birds. Hello, John Ray. Glad you could make it. See all these familiar faces and names. Well, I don't see the faces, but I see the names. Well, some of them have faces to them. <laughs> some don't. Well, we got 28 in. I'm going to go ahead and show what my package was yesterday that was delivered. And it didn't say... Well, yeah, it does say Timu, Timu or whatever. And this like looks like a couple of rolls of garden tape. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Yeah, it's the green tape you put around like tomato plants and stuff, you know, to secure them to a stake or whatever you want to prop them up with. I can use that. Something else in here. Lower that a little bit. Hey, that's neat. Look at that. <laughs> a matching pair. I'm sure I'll find a use for these. I'll be using them. Thank you so much for that.
and I'm not sure and get into them. Looks like there's two of these. You'll have to enlighten me, Miriam. Swedish dough stirs, stirs. Well, how neat. I didn't even know they made a Swedish one. That is so neat. Thank you very much. I'm sure I'll find I'll be using those. And there's something in this. I haven't even opened this thing. Oh my goodness. Girl, you knew I, kn I wanted one of these. I've always seen uh, people using dough cutters. And I've never bought one. I never owned one. I just used a knife. <laughs> and I often wondered, well, would it work better? Do you have a dough cutter when you have a lot of dough to work with, you know? So thank you very much. I know I will be using this. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> that must be Bigfoot's paw prints. <laughs> you reckon that's what that is, Bigfoot? Yeah, I can imagine so. It works great to scrape the counter after making biscuits. Yeah. But look at this little rug. Footprints. It looks like big old paw prints. That's the reason I said it must belong to, to Bigfoot. <laughs> That's neat. Thank you very much. I like getting surprises. And then we got this. That was left in the bag. know which end opens. But it's a uh, it's like a spatula. There's probably a correct name for it. I don't know. <laughs> Is Bigfoot still alive? Well to hear everybody say he must be or his descendants are. Yeah, probably would be nice to step out of bed on that. works for jars oh you mean to put down in jars yeah i wouldn't have thought of that because i had not seen one this narrow before that's great to use in a in like a narrow jar or narrow uh any kind of narrow container <clears throat> so that was like having christmas early Thank you so much. You were so kind and considerate to send that. And I appreciate it very much. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, great for mayonnaise jars, anything like that. Yeah. John Ray says, I seen Bigfoot at Rowdy's place. <laughs> Silly Cat says, I've got a cat named Bigfoot. And Wilkes County boy said he's living at Rowdy's. No, John Ray is telling Wilkes County boy that he's living at Rowdy's.
Yeah, I wish you could send me a package of rain, too, for several days. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Yeah, it's got... Well, let's see. It's got four toes on each paw print. Four on each one. If you were asking me about the rug. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> you meant her cat. Silly cat, does it have six toes? <laughs> Not sure, but it has nine lives. I don't know how many toes the cat has. I, I don't really think I've ever paid attention. They're counting. It showed as a bathtub rug. That's what I figured it was. You step out of the bathtub or shower onto that rug. <coughs> the rug could be for little buddy. He probably wouldn't lay on it. He'd rather lay on the cold floor. Feels better. Yeah, that was a neat things. I can use them. Thank you very much. John Ray says five or four. Yeah, clats have sharp claws. And every once in a while now, I, I catch a little buddy scratching on my couch. And I have to chase him off of it because I know as, as sharp as his claws are, if I don't stop him, he'll shred my couch. And that's not going to happen. <laughs> he'll be evicted from my house really fast. Little buddy might use it when it gets cold out. Maybe. I don't know. He usually gets up on the couch or on the recliner or on the foot of the bed. And there's Anna's mobile home life. Hello. You just missed the uh, package I opened. That was mainly why I, I scheduled this uh, live for this afternoon was to show what Miriam had sent. She said, Anna, I seen that beautiful bunny. <clears throat> well, I tell you what, Stephen started getting quite a few bunnies, didn't he? You have two cats that are destroying your bathroom rug. I don't know what Bigfoot's got. I doubt it's a Mr. Good Bar, Gladys. Your cats chase the squirrels up the trees. <clears throat> oh, I know. I've, I've not seen rabbits in my yard. Used to, they'd come into the garden every once in a while, and I'd see them. I haven't seen rabbits this year at all. It's too hot. They figure there's nothing in the garden for them to eat, so they don't come in. That reminds me, I've got to fill my bird feeders up, my wild bird feeders. Eat, I noticed when I was out earlier. So, <coughs> I'll have to take a container out there in a little while and fill both feeders up so the wild birds have something to eat. I know there's nectar in the hummingbird feeders so I'm not worried about them.
raised and nobody would take them, So, but you love them and they entertain me. <laughs> yeah, they keep you company. <coughs> keep you from being bored. Well, it's been so hot here. The nectar actually gets too hot for the hummingbirds during the day. Even though I've got them under the patio, the sun does hit them part of the day. So they don't come during the day anymore. They wait. They either come early, early in the morning, or they come after dark when it's cooled off. They'll come out to the feeders because I can have a little bit in one. When I go to bed at night, the next morning I get up and check them, and it's empty. They've been feeding on the feeders all most of the night. <clears throat> I know one of my friends said, well, if you don't see hummingbirds during the day, you don't have any. They don't feed at night. Well, oh, yes, they do. In this hot weather, they wait till nighttime, and they'll come to those feeders. Because, you know, if it's 109 degrees outside, that sun hits those feeders, you can imagine how hot that nectar would get. I emptied one to clean it out the other day, and it had crystallized in the bottom of the, the hummingbird feeder. And it took me forever to prize that, you know, that crystallized sugar out. <coughs> I had more here a year ago than I did this year. I had quite a few come into my feeders, but then this year, like I said, it's been so hot. They mostly come at night, and I'm not out there watching them at night or early in the morning before the sun gets hot. I saw two out there yesterday morning early because the sun had not hit the back patio yet. You put frozen sugar water in yours when it's in the upper 90s. No hummingbirds in Hawaii. Well, isn't that interesting? You'd think you'd have a lot of them there because your climate stays fairly warm all year. And the hummingbirds leave here and go to warmer weather when hit wintertime hits. Like August, this is the time of year when the hummingbirds really come to the feeders to get the nectar because they're building up their strength to fly back to wherever... It was that's warmer than here for the winter time. Yeah, I know at my brother's house in North Carolina before he moved, he had feeders all around his house and hummingbirds. Oh my God. There was so many hummingbirds. He had to fill his feeders up sometimes twice a day. He went around with a bucket full of nectar to fill up his feeders. He's got so many feeders. And the hummingbirds just bombard the feeders. See, we don't have that many here. It gets too hot for them. And like I said, when they do come to the feeders, if it's not on a cooler day, they wait tonight or they, they come in the early, early morning before I'm even up. And that's when they're at the feeders. Yeah, I bet they do. I know I've seen some of John Ray's uh, videos, and he's got tons of wildlife around him, squirrels, birds, you name it. You have more cats than you have mobile homes, silly cat. There's T.T. Sharon. Hello. Glad you could make it, Triple T. Sharon. <coughs> I hope everybody's had a good day today. Mine turned out better than I thought. The wind's got up now. The wind's blowing really hard out there right now. And I guess that's why I've started coughing because it's got that dust stirred up outside. It's because of some front that's moving in from the northwest down toward us. 
but like I said, they've only, at the most, we've only got like a 10% chance of rain here. <coughs> I have cardinals that come here to my feeders. I have cardinals, I have the road runners, blue jays, all different types of birds that come to my feeders. I know I know Cynthia, the wind's blowing like crazy. I can see it through the windows. Huh. I haven't seen that it's super dark. See if I can take my camera with me without it going off. Oh, goodness, yeah. I want to show y'all this. not only got windy but I don't know if you can see the sky back there it's got dark back in that direction looks like it's raining back over there I wish it would rain here <laughs> but it's blowing leaves out of the tree all kind of stuff here. Let's see if I can get back inside. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice that it gotten so dark out there. It's raining back over there somewhere. It's definitely not raining here. Maybe they'll be wrong and maybe we'll get a little bit of rain by accident. Miriam says, my phone showed lightning and storm in your area. Yeah. <clears throat> On the forecast, when I brought up the radar, it showed that, um, what do you want? You want out? Or you want food? You never know what he wants. There you go. Little buddy emerged. He was probably under one of the beds. <laughs> Check my chat. Yeah, their property back in Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee area, their properties are beautiful. Everything is so nice and green. No, we don't need the storms, but we desperately need the rain. Because everything in my yard is tan. <laughs> it's beyond crispy now. It's nothing but dust because the, the grass chips have been broken all up and they went to dust now. Yeah, <laughs> Jody says rain. Well, it showed on the radar we're going to get rain all around us this evening and possibly tomorrow, but it's not going to rain here. <laughs> so it'll be an accident if it rains here at all. <laughs> yeah, I said, where in the world can it rain everywhere, every time? but where you're at. I mean, that radar showed it west of us, north of us, coming down south and east of us. And where my little blue dot is on the radar was perfectly clear. <laughs> I'd drive to it. Yeah, but that's not gonna hurt, help my, my yard. It's not gonna bring the rain to my yard. I know, Wilkes County boy, you've been getting enough rain for for your area and Texas. I saw that flooding and stuff you were showing. 
<clears throat> we need a desperately part of that rain here. John Ray said you got rain coming too. I don't know. This is considered desert area here before they put in this man-made lake. And we don't get much rain here. And if we get it, we get it all in one day. I mean, when we get rain, the bottom falls out. And then it floods everything. T.T. <laughs> Sheridan says, you got the same dome over your place that I have here. <laughs> I guess. <coughs> Jody's from Eastern Utah, and South uh, Silly Cat's from South Carolina, so she shouldn't have any problem getting rain there. I know usually rain, uh, South Carolina gets plenty of rain, but that wind is blowing so hard you can hear the tree limbs scraping the patio cover. What do you think, little buddy? Is it going to rain, huh? Is it going to rain? Come here. Come here. Say hello, everybody. <laughs> I was trying to get him up here so you could see him, but... He's not cooperating too good. <laughs> okay, I'll let you down. He's not used to being held and the time he wants to be held is when I'm sitting on the couch and he'll climb up in my lap and lay there. Jody said we're about, oh, you're talking to Wilkes County boy. We're about two and a half hours away from each other. Yeah, he's camera shy. He's down in the floor. He likes it down in the floor where it's cool. Did Hel oh, Helen made it. Uh, hi there, Helen. I think my next live that I'll schedule for this week will be probably a around Thursday. Maybe around dinner time, 6, 7 o'clock, somewhere along in there. <coughs> And April Flowers, she made it. Well, hi, April. How's everything in Hawaii? <laughs> you know, I forgot. But I did. I sent her a message, and I think I told her that I was going live about 3 o'clock today if she was awake. She may be biz busy. Let me see. Yeah, I just sent her blooming a message and told her that I was live right now. She wanted to pop in and say hi. <laughs> so if she gets the message, she will. You know, I was worried about Sunday afternoon because there's so much going on on the weekends for people, but I guess Sunday afternoon is a good time to have a live, isn't it? 
Yeah, Gladys is still looking for that Mr. Good bar. Yeah, I told her I was live if she wanted to pop in and say hello to everybody, so maybe she will if she gets the message. Like I said, she may be napping. You never know. <clears throat> 10 40 a.m. here and it's uh almost four o'clock here in the afternoon <coughs> yeah i know gladys you're always there where'd you go little buddy He's under my chair. <laughs> Vicky Down says, Bloomin', 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 bloomin'. I'm chatting, chanting. Well, maybe she'll hear you and she'll come in. I don't know. It's going to rain possibly all around us, but we're not supposed to get any here where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Bloomin' gets swept away in the river of chat. Whoa, little buddy, you don't need to knock my tripod over. He just went under the tripod and circled his tail around the leg and liked to flip it over. Now he's wanting out. You want out? Huh? You want out or not? Or you just want attention? I think he just wants attention. I know my daughter went to Hawaii um, one year for two weeks with her husband. And she said, Mom, it's beautiful over there. But I've never been. I probably will never get to go. But I've seen a lot of videos in Hawaii and a lot of stuff from Hawaii. And it, it just looks beautiful. It takes 40 minutes to an hour to get any, everyone in Miss Helen's chat. <clears throat> and come to think of it, I may start going live more often on Sunday afternoons too. It seems like it's a pretty good time. Yeah, we've hit 40 in chat. Well, I'm already past that, Jody, but I can leave it on my bucket list. I don't know if I'll ever, you know, be able to complete my bucket list, but you never know. So y'all be looking forward to next Sunday around three o'clock. I'll probably do another live. I'll probably schedule lives for Sunday afternoon from now on. Gladys, I've already gave through five giveaways this morning, and I've not got, but um, there was only like two people that sent me their um, addresses so far. I got Brenda Jordan's address. And I think, really, that's the only address I got. Everybody else that won this morning did not send their address yet. 
Cotton Candy 54, she didn't send hers. Slim Twiggy didn't send hers, but I'll have to look for it because I think I've got it. Sharon Tate hasn't sent hers yet. Sharon J didn't send hers. So I don't know. And Miriam said that she didn't need seed sent to her, so she didn't send me her address. But she did send me the message about the package, so. I didn't say I was singing today. <laughs> I'm not sure when it'll be, but whenever my allergies clear up a little bit more. Oh no. <laughs> Coffee makers don't like to be clean. You clean them too much and they don't want to work. <laughs> The wind is blowing stuff against the door, and it sounded like little buddy was scratching the door to get out. <clears throat> what song you gonna sing? sing? <laughs> no, I didn't say the next live stream. I said I would have to schedule a live and do a do some singing or something, but. My allergies are too bad, especially with this wind blowing out there now. Now little buddies want out. You can go out. It's cooled off a little bit out there since the wind's blowing. Go ahead. Maybe the hummingbirds will come back to the feeder since it's cooled off a little bit. The weather don't get too bad. Well, my allergy doctor said I'm not allergic to cats. It's the dander. <coughs> it's the dander that gets built up on their fur <coughs> from not being bathed. So it's usually cats that stay outside all the time that I have a problem being around. They got much dander on them. But usually cats that stay inside or the ones that get bathed, they don't bother me at all, usually. <clears throat> and see, I don't like coffee that's strong. <clears throat> that's one reason I don't like Starbucks coffee. It's way too strong for me. I could take one of their cups of coffee and make five cups out of it. That's how strong it is. Yeah, so basically I'm allergic. If it's not a cat that gets bathed regularly like my cats always did, because I always got my cats when they were like five weeks old, and I started bathing them right away so they would get used to it, and they got at least one bath a, a month they didn't like it but they were used to it and they'd stand there and let me bathe them and they loved the part about wrapping them up in a towel and just cuddling them all up to get them dry they loved that part because usually they just go to sleep but yeah they never bothered me you know as long as i kept them bathed it's the ones that stay outside all the time that are never bathed or anything i had a donkey walked by me one time we had a church uh, Christmas play that we did and they brought a real live donkey in the church for Mary to ride on down the aisle to the stage and that donkey came by me and I started sneezing and coughing and gagging and I couldn't stop until I was out of sight of that donkey because you know those donkeys they are outside animals they don't ever get bathed they get rained on they don't get bathed. <laughs> That's funny, Jody. <clears throat> Once a week you make John Wayne coffee in your old silver pot. 
on the stove. My lawn guy mows my lawn for a cup of old-fashioned coffee. I remember the first time I ever got married, young, young lady, you know, as I was, that's all you had to make coffee in was an old-timey silver percolator. The kind that you put the coffee in the top and you set the pot on the stove. You let it perk till you saw that the, the coffee in the top get as dark as you thought you wanted it and then your coffee was done. Oh my God, a hundred cats? That's a lot, Jody. How are you? <laughs> Y'all are not going to be able to feed all those cats. Wilkes County boy says, don't mind coffee being strong, but mom's is too strong. My dad, he loved coffee that was strong. And I used to tease him about it. I said, Daddy, you like to stop coffee so strong, you could stand a spoon up in it. And I, I could not drink it that way. Ooh. That's like grinding coffee grounds and just putting a little bit of water in them. <laughs> Yeah, one sip and do it. It brighten your day. <laughs> You'd be wide, wide awake after one sip. Randy Ross, hello. Glad you could make it. Linda baked a cake. No, I didn't bake a cake. Not if you're talking about my, me. It's been a while since I baked the cake. Oh my God, silly cat. You will be a cat lady for sure with 200 cats by next year. But with all those cats, some of them probably have not been fixed. So they're going to have kittens. So you might make 200 by next year if you've already got that many, 55. Yeah, that's, I drink instant coffee and I just barely put a teaspoon of instant coffee in that big glass jug that I drink my coffee out of. It's actually a pint. That's a, it's a pint of coffee, but it's made with one almost level teaspoon of uh, instant coffee. And then I do put milk in it, so. I want to set a record for the woman with the most cats. Well, you may have done it already. I don't know. I've never heard of a record of a person having the most cats. I had a Guinness Book of World Records one time, but I don't remember anything about the most cats being owned by one person. <laughs> hey, it works, Randy Rose. You need to f cover up a scratch, get some strong coffee and put on it. <coughs> yeah, she definitely will. She hits 200 cats. She might hit it at 100. I don't know. She may have already hit it at 55. Does anybody know what the world record of ownership of cats are? Yeah. They come sprayed or neutered and then there are two sets of new babies they are expensive to feed. I can imagine one cat is can be expensive depending on what you're feeding them. And little buddy does not eat table scraps. He does not eat any kind of meat that you cook, that you eat on the table. He does not eat chicken. None of that. Because I gave him some and he'll turn his nose up. He eats either canned cat food, dry cat food, or cat treats. Anything else he turns his nose up at. 
or make coffee cookies. Oh, Miriam also sent me her recipe for um, onion patties, which are basically an onion ring when you fry it. And I've got to try that because I love onion rings, but I don't ever cook them because they're too hard to mess with trying to cook. <clears throat> but to fix them in like a patty and fry them, and she said it tastes just like eating an onion ring, I got to try it. <coughs> 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 I gotta get me another cough drop. Wind's still blowing, but not as hard as it was a minute ago. Like I said, there we're supposed to get rain all around here, but not here at all. Oh my god, silly cat is enough. I hear it thundering in the distance now. It'll rain in all the towns around me, but not here. Wait and see. Two in the house at one time was enough for me. When I had Smokey and Crybaby. Smokey was a Persian smoke, which was a beautiful cat. And then Crybaby was an orange tabby, kind of like Little Buddy, only he didn't have white on him anywhere. <clears throat> John Ray says it's 70% chance of rain here. Well, this is lemon. I guess I could put some honey in it and try it. In fact, I may do that because I've got lemon. But I made lemonade, so I could put lemon in it. I mean, uh, honey in it, and see if that would do any good. See where my lemon, my, my honey is. Yeah, I keep lemon here because I use lemon in a lot of, I mean, not lemon, but honey in a lot of stuff for sweetener. I've put lemon, I mean, not lemon, but the uh, honey in tea for a sweetener before. But I never thought about putting it in uh, lemonade that I made. <laughs> <clears throat> See if that makes any difference. <laughs> you usually make one cup at a time with the Keurig. Yeah, I don't own a Keurig. I have a Mr. Coffee Maker. But, of course, you can put just a little bit of water in it and a little bit of coffee and make a couple of cups, I guess. But it's just more convenient for me to use the instant coffee. <laughs> I'm spoiled. <laughs> yeah, I know that it works better with hot tea. Put lemon and honey in it, but... Hey, putting honey and lemonade can't hurt. <laughs> April, you have 40 beehives. Oh, my God. I love honey. I wish I had bees, but I wouldn't know anything about taking care of them. You think I had a beehive now? I've got bees at my little water fountain out here on the back patio. They swarm that all day long because there's no water out in the environment for them to get unless they swim to, I mean go to the lake can't do instant well I have uh, Folgers instant that I keep here for myself and then I have Folgers ground coffee that I can put in my percolate or my Mr. Coffee Maker 
I never did get a Keurig. And I told my son, I said, well, it, for me, it makes the coffee too strong. Well, you know what my niece told me? She said, well, I remedied that problem of the coffee being too strong when I make it in my Keurig. She said, I put a big cup in there, a double size. It looks like a soup cup. It's so deep. She said, I put it in there. I run it once. The cup is half full. Then I push the button and run it again through that same cup. And it runs again, making that a full cup of coffee, which is twice what it normally would make. So it makes it a little bit weaker. And I tried that and it worked okay. So I know if I ever do get one of those Keurig coffee makers, I'll do that. I'll run it through twice to make a bigger cup of coffee. And that way it's not quite as strong for me. Because I just, I never have liked strong coffee. Oh, Wilkes County boy, don't tell me that. It's raining there again. I need that rain. Send me some of it. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's raining at your house, Cynthia, and you're just on the other side of town. It ain't going to rain none here. I'll guarantee you it's not going to rain here. <laughs> Cynthia says yes. It's raining. I hear thunder coming from over your way, Cynthia. <coughs> <coughs> and that's, <coughs> that's the direction that the sky looked so dark when I looked outside earlier. So I figured where it was dark like that, that you were getting rain. Yeah, it's the temperature dropped a little bit, which is a good thing. Yeah, you did. I heard it just now, and I heard it before, earlier. So, I mean, it's tried hard to rain here, but I know it's not going to. The sky is still dark back over that way, but the wind has calmed down. I mean, it's like a dead calm out there right now. The wind has stopped blowing, but it's not raining. <laughs> well, it's 4 o'clock or 4.04 here, and that cloud is dark over on that side of me. But on this other side, it's all bright, light color. Yeah, I pray that the, the, the radar was just off and maybe that rain will kind of trickle into this area a little bit. Well, Cynthia lives on the other side of Granberry, Miss Weaver. But I've actually driven through town when it looked like a wall. Where I was coming from, it was not raining, and all of a sudden I hit a wall of rain. And then I got through the wall and it stopped. And you could look behind me and it was pouring down rain. And that is the strangest thing to be able to see that. I hope so, but it showed on the radar earlier that it was going to hit everywhere but the little blue dot that I was in. Let me see if I can bring it up on the radar here again. <clears throat> Wilkes County, boy, maybe we need to go out and start doing a rain dance together. Maybe it'll rain here. You've already got the rain where you're at. See if I can bring up the radar here. 
on my laptop. Roll your car windows down and say it will rain. If I roll my car windows down and back the car out in the street and leave it, it probably would rain. Maybe I should do that, but then my car would get wet. Yeah, see this one, this radar is showing, it's so, showing such a broad area that it doesn't even bring Granberry up. It shows the places around Granberry. That's not what I'm looking for. See what else I can bring up. <laughs> oh, I would. I worked too hard to pay for that new car. Well, it's not new now, but it's a couple of years old. But I worked too hard for roll my window down and get my car ruined and get it wet. Well, it says now, Granberry has a 70% chance of rain here at 5 p.m. Well, at 5 p.m. it says we're at 4, so it hasn't hit yet. So we might, or like I said, it, Cynthia may get it on her side of town and may not get a drop over here. And it's dropped to 94 degrees, which is good. It's cooled off a little bit. But then tomorrow it's going to be 97, Tuesday 98, Wednesday 99, and then back up to 100 on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday 104. So we desperately need this little bit of rain. Randy Ross, thank you so much. I had a post office box at one time, Randy, because everybody wanted me to get one. I paid for it for three months, and nobody ever used it. So I did not renew it. If you need my uh, mailing address for anything, shoot me an email, and I'll send you my mailing address. And my email is in the description of my videos, so... Yeah, I decided, you know, I'm I'm not a wealthy person. I live on a fixed income, a very low fixed income. And um <coughs> And I know renting a post office box is not that expensive. But when you have a small income coming in every month, it can be expensive to someone like that. So I let the box go and I just decided if anybody wants to send me something Send me an email, and I'll send you back my email, my uh, mailing address. Vicky Downs says, oh, yeah, it's raining here. <laughs> Wilkes County Boy says, yeah, I'm a poor fella, too. Well, the way it is with me, it's either pay for a post office box or maybe eat that month. So, <laughs> I choose eating. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> rain, rain, rain on Texas, Randy Ross says.
You have leftover buffalo chicken legs from last night. That sounds good. I made um, chicken and rice with that leftover carcass of that roasted tier chicken I got the other day, yesterday. So I heated some of that up, made it today with my potato salad and a couple of my deviled eggs. And I still got some of that left, so... If I get hungry between now and before I go to bed, I'll eat more of that. I'm not cooking today. Yeah, I don't consider myself poor. I mean, I'm rich as far as life. Things I know. My health compared to other people my age, I feel fortunate. And I don't think wealth can be measured in money. There, there's people out there that have a million dollars and they're poorer than I am. I go to Brookshire's once in a while. Sometimes I go to their gas station. Yeah, I, I sure do. I stop in at Brookshire's and maybe pick up a few things and if I need gas I'll swing up to the right there to the side in front and get gas. <coughs> yeah, there's gonna be a big difference in my coffin if it would rain here and settle all this dust down. I say it clean, it washes the air. <laughs> the air needs a good washing. Yes, my father owns the thousand cattle on the hill. Does your dad really own a thousand cattle? Is that what you're saying, Wilkes County boy? That's a lot of cattle. If birds were $100 bills, you'd be rich. Yeah, I can imagine. <clears throat> I don't know, Wilkes County boy. You've lost me in this conversation somewhere. <laughs> yep, and... The air needs washing right now. Yeah, that's true, Wilkes County boy. Jesus owns it all. And anything you own in this life, you're not taking with you when you go. I live, do the best I can. I treat other people like I want them to treat me. And that's all you can do. I try to live right. I have a clear conscience. <laughs> Some people can't say that. Yeah, my dad said that many a time that my father owns many mansions. Yep, you're so right, Wilkes County boy. And your time on earth is up to you. You can lengthen your days or shorten them. All depends. Just on the life you live. <clears throat> I usually sleep good, at, good too at night. And I started to say something to that, but I better not, because y'all wouldn't understand, and I can't do any explaining, so. <coughs> That's not nice, Jody. Telling John Ray to get him some pigeons and teach him how to pick pockets. That would not be a nice thing to do.
I'm not going to make dinner tonight, Deborah. I'm just going to warm up um, chicken and rice, and I've got potato salad I made. I've got deviled eggs. I still got a serving of greens left. So that's plenty. I can eat some of that. <coughs> oh, man. They don't show a radar with this, so... I wish I'd get a better radar that would come up. Then I could see exactly where the rain is going to hit. It shows heavy thunderstorms for Granberry. <clears throat> Till 6 p.m., which that's two hours away. So, and then by seven o'clock, it's scattered showers, scattered thunder showers, 59%. But like I said, they showed on the radar everybody around Granberry was going to get the rain except us. <clears throat> And I don't see another radar here. Where is there it is. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. My allergy just unreal. Jody says, I got the dishes done. I hate to cook because I hate the dishes. <laughs> Linda, what is you going to say? I don't know. Oh, how neat. You got little owls that come visit at night. Yeah, stewed taters and cornbread are really good. We've had heat advisories every day, seems like. I don't know. It shows on the radar. We're not going to get anything past like four or five o'clock. So I don't know. You never know. You you don't know it's going to rain till it's raining. To tell you the truth, you can't go by what they tell you all the time. Well, you have a great Sunday evening, Helen. I'm glad you could make our live today.
No, I don't think anybody said anything about a bone, Gladys. <laughs> Something you might like when my, we have family reunions back home or when we used to when my brother still lived in North Carolina. He had this barbecue pit built on a trailer that he could pull behind his, his truck or his car. And for my mom's 86th birthday, she wanted a luau. So he got half a pig, pretty good sized pig. <clears throat> and he roasted that pig overnight on that barbecue pit. And the next day when he got ready to go to my mom's, he just hooked that thing to his vehicle and pulled it up the road and just drove in the yard with the, cook the pig cooking on the, the pit and pulled it in. <coughs> I mean, that was some good barbecued pork right there. Well, I'm glad you can make it, Deborah. I hope I try not to be boring. <laughs> I know my life is not as interesting as some people's, but I try. <laughs> I hope we do get some rain, too. Well, I don't want to keep holding people up. We've been on here for, what, about an hour and a half, so I don't want to drag it out, bore y'all to tears. So I want to thank each and every one of you for joining in my live today. Love each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. Yeah, barbecue pork with coleslaw is really good, Wilkes County boy. I'll take that any day. Just good old-fashioned barbecue pork with coleslaw. That is some good eating right there. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying, love each and every one of you. Y'all have a blessed evening. Tell everybody if they haven't already to please like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Y'all have a blessed evening. I'll see y'all my next one. Bye now.